right? Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shah is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honor to all the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole free lake. May the Heavenly Father bless you with His gracious mercies. You know, today this lesson is going to be titled, um, lost the power of understanding, you know, and that's what, um, you know, happened to our people, man, that there's, they can't just get this truth, man. You, you have been lost. The you lost the power of understanding, you know, I'm going to start right here in, um, Matthew 13 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, why speakest thou unto them in parables? And then him is talking about Yahweh Shah. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. You see? I'm going to just get these words. But the heavenly father said it's given. And it's talking about to the elect, man. He say to give, to give something to someone. He say to bestow a gift. See, he say... Um, of one's own accord to give one something to his advantage. See, and this was given to us for our advantage, you know, to be saved out of here, Lord willing, man. You know, look, see, deliver, to give over, deliver. You know, and that's what we praying and hoping for, to be delivered out of here. And it was given to the elect. It wasn't given, you know, to to the entire world, you know. I'm not finna get um Sirach 39 and 1. But he that give of his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. And that's what we doing. You know, we be occupied in prophecies. We watching we watching the news, we looking up news articles, you know, we going into words, you know, we 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 meditate on this day and night. We can't wait. To our Lord and Savior, how shall I return, man, and 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 rule this world in righteousness, you know, because this place is all out of whack, man. This man, this place is off, and if you love it here, man, you sick. But this is what we doing. We meditating in prophecy, and we meditating in all the words of this this entire book, man. You know, it says he will keep the sayings of the renowned men. And where sub thy parables are, he he will be there also. You see, that's why I say this given unto you. Because we might hear a precept and be like, man, if we don't have understanding, we're gonna search it out. You know, and the Lord, He's gonna bless us. You know, you might read a precept and, and and looking for the understanding, and the elders will do a video on it, and you you like, man, that's the spirit, you know. And it says he will seek out. He will seek out the secrets of grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables. And I'm going to get this word conversant in the simple Google definition. So like, give me one second. And when you go into the word conversant, it's a familiar with or knowledgeable about something. You see, and the Lord, he blessed us with the will so not to understand it, to understand these, these um, dark sayings, these parables. That's why I say they're just given unto you, you know. And Lord willing, you know, humbly speaking, that we are of the elect, you know. But two-thirds of our people, man, they have lost the power of understanding, you know. And I'm finna get on. Um, What is this? Second Corinthians, Salak. And it's awesomely because, you know, David, man, he 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 put a curse on our people. And you see the Lord, and they show you the Lord, he answered prayers. Because the Lord still has our people under that curse that David prayed and asked for, you know. Um this so like I get this next. I'm gonna get um Romans eleven 
in verse 7, and it says, What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see? I'm going to get this word blinded. G4456. So like it says, to cover with thick thick skin, to harden by covering with callous, metaphorically speaking, to make the heart dull, to grow hard, callous, it says, become dull, lose the power of understanding, you see? So you have, you have lost the power of understanding. If you're not part of the election, you have been, you know, you've been blinded. You lost the power of understanding, you know? Um, verse eight, according as it is written, the most high have given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see in ears that they should not hear unto this day. You see? So the Lord, he done blocked your understanding until this day, man. You know, he said, and David said, let their table be made a snare, a trap and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their neck back, Salaka, and bow down their back always. You see? Go to the word, let their eyes be darkened. G4654. And it says, to be covered with darkness, be darkened, it say, of heavenly bodies as deprived of light. And what is this light, man? Yahweh Shai. He's the way, the truth, and the light. And you have been deprived of it. You have no understanding. You know? That's why it's not even worth even getting mad when you, you, you try to teach Jacob about this truth and and they don't care. There's, there's prophecy, man. You know, the Lord said two-thirds of our people going to be put to death, you know? So it ain't even no need to even get worked up over these niggas, man. And I'm finna go to, you know, to that prayer where King Dave was praying. I'm going to do this Psalm 69. I'm going to get straight to the point where it says... Verse 23, and it says, Let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. You see? So David, he said, he, he prayed to the Lord that you let their eyes be darkened. That's why you've been lost the power of understanding. You know? And it says, To be or become dark, grow dim, be darkened, be black, be hidden. See, this truth is, is is hidden from you. You know, so it's it's not it's not a um, a strange thing that our people can't get it. We understand why you can't get it because it has been hidden from you. You know, it's a obscure to obscure. Let me look this word up. It's a not discovered or known about. You see? Uh, it's a not discovered or known about uncertain. It's a keep from being seen, concealed. You see? So, Dave, he prayed that this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding be kept from you. Kept from your understanding that it be concealed from you. You know? So, that's why the Lord said to this day, man, he be, you be, you under the spirit of slumber. You know? <laughs> And, and jump it down to verse 27, as it said, um, let their eyes be darkened that they see not. And when you go back to what it said, he said this, this um, you know, back to Matthew 10, I mean, 13 and 11, he said, because it is given unto you to understand the mission of the kingdom. You know, and we went to that word um, given, you know, it was bestowed a gift upon us. And I'm, finna, uh, I'm jumping down to Psalms 6, 9, 27. It says, add iniquity unto their iniquity, you know, sin unto their sin, and let them not come into thy righteousness, you see? And that's what's going on. You can't you can't even understand or even come into this. And, and this makes all the sense in the world. 
You know, I know when I heard this, it was a man, it was a joy to my heart, and it was like, man, a burden off my back. You know, just hearing that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, is our power. Man, that was the most beautiful thing I could have ever received in this life. And you have it to where you tell these people they can't even receive this truth. And we understand why now, you know. But when you go to that word add, where it say, it say to give but stow, you have been stowed, you know, blindness upon you. You know, that was your gift to be blinded, you know. But um, I'm going to end it right here in, um, in 2 Corinthians 4 and 3. But I'm going to read Psalm 69 and 23 again. Let their eyes be darkened that they see not and make their loins continually to shake. You see, and you say, let their eyes be dark and they go into, you know, conceal, be hidden that you, that, you know, that you lost from this truth, man. I'm going to end it right here in 2 Corinthians 4 and verse 3. And it says, but if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And you see, you are lost, man. I'm not going to get this word lost. Because of all your wickedness, man. And, and King David, he prayed this curse upon you. And the Lord, he, he's holding, he's, he, he's keeping this curse on you until this day, you know. And this is G622 for the word lost. And it says, um, this is what I'm looking for, say right here. To declare that one must be put to death. You see? So it's a must that you be put to death. You know? And you just have to get it in the kingdom because you can't even get it on this side. You know? So this truth, man, is only for the elect. So we're not out here trying to beg nobody to, to receive this, this beautiful gift. You know? It's of the elect. The elect going to receive it regardless. But, you know, the wicked, the two-thirds of our people, you just won't get it. And you have to get it later, later, later in the kingdom, you know. And we hoping, Lord willing, we're those men, you know, to make it into the kingdom the first go-round. We don't want to have to make it the second go-round, you know. But um, with that, I'm going to say shalom.